Hey, everybody. Woo. We're here for the party today. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> today guys we're going to give you some time to come on in and join the party we got lots of fun projects planned for today and we have yeah they're so beautiful mm -hmm. they're super fun i and i i love coming up with stuff you know to make for the lives mm -hmm. and stuff just super fun but jules is going to show us some eye candy a little later so you're going to want to yeah. stick around for that and we are <laughs> doing a giveaway today guys yeah. so we'll explain yeah. that i'm actually gonna let amber explain it when it's time because i think she gets a better grasp on it than that too. <laughs> yeah don't give away the ranch <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be like, actually i'm telling you that's my new dream like oh. well i mean i've had this dream before but wouldn't it be awesome to like have land and cool. like a community center and some tiny homes and some yes. like fabulous people and we would just eat and drink and, <laughs> and weave feed. and bead and weave i don't know why i just think that's possible and we need horses so we don't have to pay for gas oh yeah oh god <laughs> Don't even get me started. I'm in California. Oh, 619. Oh, 619 yesterday. Oh my God. But you know what? It's all good. It's all going to. I have faith. <laughs> well, it looks like we have some friends coming in. We have yeah. Facebook user. Don't forget to give StreamYard permission so we can see who you are. Bonnie Ryder says hi, ladies. Lois Becker. Hi, Lois. Tina. Melanie, Debbie, Rose, boy, these are going quick. Joan, she's right there. Um, <laughs> uh, Bonnie, on Lois, on hi, everybody. Thanks hi. for coming in and joining us. Sorry, Jules, I interrupted oh, you. Well, <laughs> it might be just you, Bonnie. I don't hear an echo on this side. Um, yeah, I don't hear an echo. Mm -mm. What's called? Oh. <laughs> Lois said that the, the uh, ranch you want to have, Jules, is called a retirement community. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it's a bunny ranch, and I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that'd be interesting, wouldn't it? The poor fellows. <laughs> oh, man. That was good, Trish. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. just coming from my perspective not anybody i'm not putting that on anyone else um, <laughs> just so you guys know that are joining in with us uh if you want to be a part of the giveaway uh it's being offered if you join us over on youtube tonight make sure you subscribe and like tonight's live in order to be entered by the end of the show mm -hmm. there should be a link um that goes right to it's called a raffle copter if uh, joan will put it in the chat and it's through the raffle copter that you put your name in to, and then we will pick a random person at the end of the show so <clears throat> to come live on jules's ranch with her. <laughs> without the bunnies <laughs> Oh, but I love Just the bunnies. So it does not Brandos. include the bunnies. <laughs> the poodles and the Marlon Brandos can come. Yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> poodles and Frenchies. Oh, hi Kelly. Ah, Kelly Dell's in the house. Oh, hi, Kelly. Woo and what a sweetheart you have been. Oh my gosh, we just love you, and I am so grateful for everything that you have done. Um, it's been so, so much fun. And how, look, at I have my bracelet right here. Oh, I have it with me. Oh, so gorgeous. I have it. Isn't Beautiful. it fun? I love it. I know. I she like really, really table. empowered me to like get over myself. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> I'm like, I can do this. <laughs> um, Bonnie, I'm glad you figured out the echo for yeah, yourself good. there. Um, well, do we want to start with the yummy goodness that Jules has to show? And then we can... Uh... Oh, 
yeah, I could break down. Um, I'm not getting the feed on the YouTubes as far as like where um, people are talking. So I'm going to turn it like this. Yeah, there's okay. a bunch of Kelly's talking, Bonnie's talking, Sue. Oh, well, I see it in the stream yard. Oh, because it comes up with the little red thing. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sherry, glad you Don't could join us. us. Oh, Melanie hi. says she's making one now right with us. So it's going to be fun. Right on. That's we awesome. So, yeah. So with the um with the St. Patty's kit, um there's a limited amount left. Um they've been hugely popular. That charm set is like ridiculous. So cute. Like so cute. yeah, I can't even. With the but look at <laughs> and Amber used part of the charms for earrings. I just don't even know. Like <laughs> so so fun and so appropriate to have two totally uh I don't know, mixed earrings, right? For, for yes. St. Patty's, right? Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, uh, so the beads, if you if you find that the kits are sold out by the time you get over there, um, I put some more beads in the system and they're all the greens and they're just gorgeous. So this one, this one is like oh. a gorgeous, I know, transparent. <laughs> I wanted to name them Gorgeous one, gorgeous two, gorgeous three, four, and five. Because <laughs> I, I literally was like, like, what does it matter? What does it matter what their names are? They're gorgeous. You need them all. So, um, yeah. So there's those. And then, oh my heck, look at these. Are these? Oh, delightful? I love those when I saw the picture. Oh yeah. My oh my. yeah. You're speaking my yeah. language now, Jules. Oh, with the fire polish. Oh, yes. Gosh. Right. This is what oh, you're going to find oh. at our bunny ranch. Oh, yes. <laughs> Instead of tassels. Um, yeah, right. Castle. And <laughs> Sorry. Um, everything's on, everything is on the front page, by the way. So it's all. And then here's awesome. the others. The, these are the ones I think that are actually in, in the, the current. Kit. Yeah. yeah. In the current kit. They're an emerald AB. They're just wow. absolutely stunning. Oh. Um, and then this one is... Like lighter, I call. I ended up calling it like a peridot AB because just because it's a little bit lighter. I think that's but, the one we're using tonight. Um, actually, you all are yeah. using this one. Oh, this is like, sorry. Oh, yes. This is called yes. green white. Oh, but again, gorgeous one, two, three, oh, yeah. four. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, oh, you should have totally me. named it that. I should have, but <laughs> people would have just been like, "What is she talking about?" <laughs> Then they'll go, it's Jules. It's Jules. <laughs> you either want them or you don't want them. <laughs> Add them to the cart or don't. <laughs> it's just like a butter. I'm telling Hold you. my beer. Hold my oh. beer. <laughs> Hold my beer rings. <laughs> oh, yes. We are making beer rings tonight, that. friends. I love that. <laughs> Oh, uh, so if you're just joining us, hi, a bunch of people over on Facebook. <laughs> You'll have to go back to understand about <laughs> the crazy, the, uh, the crazy that's going on here. But yes. um, and also Lots just the yummy goodness that Jules just showed us <laughs> and her blue chips. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Kelly. But if you are on Facebook, just so you are aware, our giveaway is for YouTube tonight. So you can head over there. Make sure you subscribe and like tonight's video. And we, yeah. there is a link to what is called a raffle copter. If you put your name in there, it'll let us know you subscribed, and we'll pick a name out of that at the end of the show. Perfect. So. Woohoo! Perfect. Perfect. Thank so you, right. ladies. Ready to get ready doing some yeah. projects here. I think. Go Sounds rock and roll. Good. Sounds good. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to flip my camera around quick okay. while you're... I will just come up here. Sounds um... good. I don't want to make anybody dizzy. <laughs> so glad. Ooh, I was a little fuzzy there. That you guys could join us for a for our show tonight, for our St. Patrick's party. And Jules and Joan will come back at the end of the show and uh, join us again. Um, but we're really excited. And then next week, Jules is doing a party over at uh soft flex not soft flex sorry silver silk you got it <laughs> silver you silk got it. an s name right silver there. silk uh next thursday so make sure you join her <clears throat> uh oh sandy said she's working on kelly's bracelet that's oh, awesome nice awesome yep just have some fun with us tonight right no matter yeah. what you're making 
And I'm going to flip my cam okay. here. So there we go. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do first is we're going to show you how to color some of your charms if you get the Kiss Me Irish Kiss Me I'm Irish kit. And there are um, Amber. She's going to do the pot of gold and the rainbow, which will be absolutely adorable. And then I'm going to, of course, do the beer and the and the uh, shamrock. Clover. <laughs> oh, shamrock. That's what it yeah. is. <laughs> Clover shamrock, whatever. And then we're, I'm going to color my button as well because um, we're going to show you a bracelet also. Both of us have a bracelet to show you. So it's going to be really fun here. Look at those charms. They're so adorable. I can't stand it. And that button, come on. Oh. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> I know, Melanie. I love them too. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to use some alcohol inks tonight, guys. But as we've gone over in the past, in, in some of the lives, you can use whatever you have. You can use colored pencils. You can use patina paints. You can use whatever works for you. Watercolors. Um, Amber's using the Tombow markers, and I'm just using alcohol inks. So whatever you like, you use. Or if you just want to leave them in the wood tone, they're also really cool. So, so basically, I'll give you a little heads up. If you do decide to use the alcohol markers, guys, you ought to be careful because they spread quickly. So whenever you're filling them in, just kind of go slow and see where it's traveling to. I'm going to go in just a little bit more here so you can see better. And But that's the only caveat with this. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of yellow to make our beer <laughs> on the top. <laughs> I'm coloring in my pot of gold. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really like, and the difference is, say, for instance, with different um i don't know for lack of a better word with my brain um coloring instruments <clears throat> say for oh. instance the alcohol markers are a little more vivid mm -hmm. the color pencils would be a little more you know like pastel -y or a more of a laid back palette um, the patina paints also, they are very vivid if you use those i mean you can water them down to make them less so you know, if you're into that, you can certainly do that. Um, but I know Amber's markers, yours are pretty, yours are pretty bright as well, aren't they, Amber? Yes, that is yeah. correct. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. So you just play around, you know, play around. I like, with... go, ahead. go ahead. No, no. Go uh, ahead. I was going to say, I like these Tombos because they have the two different ends. So since okay, the, yes. these charms are so tiny, it's nice to use mm. this end is harder and tiny, mm -hmm. whereas this end is more like a paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. The paintbrush is nice, and that's how this one is too. It has the wider and the thinner, but the wider brushes are nice, like for bigger projects. I used yes. the wider brushes when I was coloring in my looms. So yes. So I'm just taking a little bit of this brown color to make the mug for lack of a better color here. But <laughs> And just going to get that colored in, and then we'll move on to our shamrock and our button. Let us know what you guys use for coloring in your wood pieces. Be curious to hear. Okay. That's so fun, Sandy. You only have to take it off, your, off the loom for the bracelet you're making. So there's a little cup of beer. <gasps> oh, that looks adorable. It's <laughs> simple, two colors. So, yeah, nice. I'm liking it. And then, of course, I'm going to use the green for my shamrock. How's it going over there, Amber? I finished up my pot of gold. So. Okay. That's so cute. Look, my finger's got a rainbow. There's a pot All of gold. All right. Yeah, it goes great <laughs> um, with it. Working on my rainbow now. And in the center of this, guys, it's a little bit rougher of a, of a wood in there, you know, just to give it that nice color. You can certainly color on that. You know, if you or if you just want to do the edges, you certainly can do that. But you can see it is taking the color for me just fine. To answer your question, Bonnie, these um, these are the brush pens from Tombow is the ones I'm using. They're dual tips. Yes, you can and, also fill in with resin. Okay. That's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could. That'd be fun. That takes a little longer. <laughs> mm -hmm. A little longer than coloring, but you know, still super fun. There's a lot you can do with all of the wood 
charms and pieces that that Jules <clears throat> creates. But what was I, oh, I was going to show you what I'm using here, guys. These are alcohol ink inks, but this is the name brand of them that I'm using. This is just off of Amazon because I'm the Amazon queen. But. <laughs> can they give you this little thing that you can color? Oh, nice. In so you have a sample of what that, you're going to use, you know. That's really so, cool. Absolutely. So, Hey, Carmen. Hi, Yvonne. I'm so glad you guys could join us. Yes, absolutely. I wanted to play some Irish music, but, you know, Facebook will take us down. So oh, True. <laughs> and so would you do, but matter of fact... <laughs> So TikTok's play your own one. Irish music yes. in your homes. and <laughs> There you go. You can get in the spirit anyway. So there. Let's get that middle there and we'll be set. Can we use this in here, I think. And what Facebook allows, YouTube wouldn't. So, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. It's just... I think TikTok's the only one you can play music on. I don't know if you can do it on Instagram or not. Uh, Kelly, I'm not sure what you mean that that uh, Jewel Loom will thrive with resin work, like adding it to the buttons. Is that what you mean? Yes, Debbie, I do love the Tombow markers. UV not thrive, she said. So it would will UV oh. resin work. Yes, UV resin would work. That's what I use on my um, stuff is the UV. Okay. Yeah, she corrected that down there, honey. Oh, but I missed that. You didn't see it yet. <laughs> Just popped up. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, the UV will work. <clears throat> Someone's asking what the message Jules just sent was. Let's see. Oh, it's just reminding you of our show. Yep. That's all. So no worries, Rose. You're good. <laughs> good, good. You're already right, here. So there's my little guys. And then I'm just going to touch a little bit of color on my button just for fun. <clears throat> and I don't know if uh, Joan oh yep she did put the raffle copter cop, uh, anyways this copter. right <laughs> raffle okay. copter for our giveaway tonight make sure you like and subscribe over at YouTube and fill in the raffle cop if you go through the raffle copter it'll take you right to YouTube yeah I should yeah. clarify that but Amber, Amber's so smart with that technical stuff. I'm glad one of us is. I'll leave that up for a couple minutes. Here. <laughs> Kiss me. I'm Irish. Well, this is kind of a fib on my part because I'm actually Scottish, but <laughs> <laughs> I am Irish, but I married into Scottish. So well, there you're covered. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, you're good, right? Exactly. My, so. my grandmother would be proud. She was very Irish. Oh, mm. yes, she would. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about, guys. Like in this mm -hmm. middle section, it kind of will fill in, grows a little bit when oh, you yeah. put the. Yeah. So just go slow with the alcohol markers. With, yeah, that might be harder on the rainbow because the lines are so close. Yes. Yeah. So you might want to find something. The Tombos bleed very, very little. Okay. Um, they do bleed slightly if you bump it or something. But yeah. as long as you stay within the cut line, oh, that's so cute. It does pretty well. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> so I'm ready to get started on making a pair of earrings. I'm going to show you guys this beautiful check glass, and I can move this up now because I am done coloring, and I'm famous for getting stuff on my bead mat. So there mm. we go. Look Here I am. This. Coloring on mine. <laughs> but look at this check glass mix, guys. Oh, my gosh. That is in the shop. And I'm in love. Anything check glass, fire polish, whatever, fantastic to me. So I'm going to take this button and set it back by my bracelet. And so what I'm going to do here, move this up just a smidge, guys, so we can see. I have just some Beadalon German-style wire and a 20-gauge. Now, this is something outside the box here um from looming today we're just gonna have some fun making some earrings so 
And I'm just going to take that wire and I'm just going to straighten it out with my fingers. You can also use a wire straightener if you have, um, you know, one of those pliers that you can use. I have those, but my fingers work on a lot of projects. So, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by making a, a wrap loop on the bottom so that I can put my um, hook in my second piece to it when I'm ready. And then I can put my beads on the wire so they don't fall off. We need something at the end. So all I did is I just bent my wire horizontally, guys, with my round nose pliers. Oh, that needs up a little bit. It's not really focusing, is it? Uh, is that better? Oh, it's looking at the gorgeous check glass. I think that's the problem. I would be too. Can't blame oh, the camera. I was going to say that's my preference too. <laughs> yeah, really? Is that better? There we go. Okay. And then you're just going to, after you bend that horizontally, you're going to go up and over. This is just a wrap loop. You could also do a simple loop. If you prefer that, that's also some, very easy to do. And then I just grab that with my pliers and then I'm just going to take that wire and wrap it around three times because that's what I like the look of. Okay. Let's see, we have our, woo, <laughs> three, three wraps there, guys. So I'm just going to turn that over and trim off that wire. And I'm going to push down that wire just so we can tuck that in so it doesn't stab anybody so now we can start putting our beads on so just pick from this gorgeous check mix anything that tickles your fancy but i was eyeing of course some of the um fire polish earlier and you know what i meant to grab was some spacers do you want to tell everybody what you're doing there uh amber why grab some spacers sure i'm still coloring i'm on my button now I took my time with the rainbow so that I wouldn't uh, go out of the lines. So I'm coloring my button now. And then I can show you the bracelet that I'm going to demonstrate tonight. So just a simple loom bracelet with our, with our button on there. <clears throat> and I chose to keep the hat charm plain except for the, the band. It's hard to see, but I did paint the middle gold with a paint mask. Okay. So, all right, now I'm back. So the reason I like to use spacers, guys, is it really, or any kind of metal, makes your um, beads pop even more so. So I'm just going to grab some simple daisy spacers just to give it a little bit of a pop. Oh, I did that with my earrings, too. Did you? Just some <laughs> yeah. daisy spacers? That's all you need, you know? So I just put on this gorgeous piece of fire polish and I'm going to do a spacer and then let's see what else. Maybe one of these teardrop beads. I love those. They are beautiful. So that's what we have so far for the top piece. And then all I'm going to do then is just make another wrap loop on the top. Okay, and then sideways, up and over. Look and at that, yummy yeah, goodness. Hmm. That, oh, I know, my gosh. So beautiful. So what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to wrap down with three wraps. And then what I'm going to do, just to give it a little bit of interest, I'm just going to take that wire and I'm going to wrap it in between the beads where the spacer is there. Okay. And then just keep wrapping it down and then underneath, okay? So that gives us a little bit of interest to our our uh, earring top. Just kind of yeah, gives it a little bit of oomph, you know? Mm -hmm. You can see that. It kind of just takes it up a notch. So then we're just going to trim that off and tuck that in. And then I'm going to make my second piece that's going to have one of my charms on it, which I love. <laughs> and I like to do my earrings in two pieces, guys, because I like two or three, because I like the way that it moves 
when you use multiple pieces versus just sticking that on with the charm. The charm would move. That would be cute. But if you have the two beaded pieces that move around, that really gets the attention for the earrings. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to do part part of a wrap loop. And then don't forget, because I'm famous for this, guys, don't forget to open your loop and hook in the top piece before you uh, close up your wrap loop or you'll have to cut it off and start over because it's not hooked in. So, <laughs> so we're doing the same thing here, guys, just three times around. <laughs> and then trim trim and tuck trim and tuck always tuck your wires in okay so now i'm going to put i think probably let's see there's so many gorgeous ones to choose from but i think i'm going to put on this rectangle for the bottom and just keeping it simple we did our metal on the top there Okay. Ooh, so pretty. Isn't it? It's, I mean, you can't go wrong with this check glass. Any of the check glass. Oh my gosh, guys, the Jules has. Forget it. <laughs> it's, all, <laughs> it's all gorgeous. So what I'm going to do here is do another wrap loop and I'm going to do the same thing as I come around here. I'm going to stop when I get to the part where I cross over so I can link in my beer. Hold my beer. <clears throat> you want to make sure that's opened up enough so it can slide on there easily. Okay. And see, we have our charm on now, our really cool earrings. Very cool. Hey, yeah. Sharon, I see your message and I can manually enter you in. And Jules is giving you us an ovation over there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting an ovation. Yeah, ladder in so everybody could see. <laughs> there she. <laughs> oh, thank you. You likey, huh? Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing, guys. I'm going to wrap some of that wire around that bottom bead as well. Hey, why not? More is more, right? That's my theory. Gorgeous. So just... <laughs> thank you. I'm just wire sings my soul. <laughs> Makes my soul I... sing. <clears throat> yeah, I feel you on that. So I'm just wrapping that around that bead, and that's going to give us that metal on that bottom piece that maybe we don't have a daisy spacer in there, but we have still that metal that's making the gorgeous check glass pop. Okay. And then our little beer. Can you stand it? So stinking cute. <laughs> Aren't they? Love them. So all you would do then, guys, is just tuck that wire in and add in your wire. And you have an absolutely adorable earring. So I'm going to work on making my other one. And maybe Amber can show us her earring that she is um, going to make for us tonight. Her super cute rainbow <laughs> pot of gold. Okay. I am trying to figure out. Uh, it is working. I'm was... But it, Sharon, it won't let me add you without your email address. So maybe you can message that to Joan and she can get that to me and I'll make sure you're added. And I am. Those are what we call beer rings. Now, <laughs> I do have to tell you, if you buy two sets of charms, guys, you can just add two beers. So if you need more than one beer, then you'd have to get a second set. <laughs> but you can certainly do the, the shamrock on the beer or however you yes. like. I love the bearings too. <laughs> we laughed so hard when, when we saw that charm. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Trisha's uh, wonderful husband made up that name for us. So <laughs> yes, Debbie, I do love Trisha's um, pink sparkly nails. It's very her. It's um, very, it's not very Irish though. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good, honey. <laughs> so I just, so far I've colored and we're just going to do a, very simple earring. Um, I added a jump ring onto the charm. So when I'm done pulling everything onto, I'm I'm just I'm doing all out simple here. I have a an eye pin. Okay, so you'll need an eye pin instead of a head pin, so you can hook the charm on. And then I started out with just a little tiny gold ball to put on the bottom. 
and then I took right from the kit. So I took the seed beads and the fire polish. So I just put on one seed bead, one of this beautiful yummy green goodness, <laughs> another seed bead, and then I just took my gold. Well, I guess I didn't use the daisies, but they're like the daisies. They're just a spacer. Sure, sure. Um, just a simple spacer in between. Um, and then just repeated the pattern on top of that. I love do, it. Do, do. And then one more green seed bead. And I know Trish really loves her tools, but I also really love <laughs> tools too. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Cuts yep. down on making the loops. Yep, the one step looper. I, believe me, I use that too. And it just makes my loop. And then I can attach my ear wire. And then I just close up my loop. I used the one and a half, and they just recently came out with a two and a half. Yeah, that one's but, nice. Mm -hmm. So just closing, closing this up. It's always when you're on air that things don't go as well. Oh, as yes, well, absolutely. Right? That's the best time, right? Exactly. <laughs> and as I said, I left the jump ring open. So just the only thing you really have to worry about is making sure you put the ear wires on the same way that the charm is. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> you want to put all that work into coloring and then not even see it. Exactly. For sure. And I'm all rainbow-fied with my my fingers here tonight. Adorable. Love it. Of course, it's spinning around on me. There we go. <laughs> and right. then just close up. Make sure you feel that click. And there you go. Awesome. Oh my gosh, Amber. <laughs> so cute. So, yeah. Are you finishing up your second one there? I'm, I am working on my second one. I'm working on the bottom piece here, and I'm going to hook in my, my shamrock. Let me move that down a little bit, guys, so you can see. I'm just going to do that final bottom piece, and I'm doing my wrap loops again here. And I'm going to hook it in before I close it. I don't know if you guys have had that kind of trouble where you just forget <laughs> to open your wrap loop and put your next piece in. All before you the close time. It. Yeah. <laughs> it is <laughs> frustrating to say the least. So right. <laughs> have to like remind myself when I'm doing it. Okay. And then we're just going to add on our rectangle bead. Thank you, Tammy. Oh, thank you, Sandy. You like my rings? So this <laughs> one is the one we just finished last week and that new video is up. And then, gosh, we've done this one, this type of ring many times. <laughs> yeah, so uh, in all kinds of different colors, Jules likes her, her go big or go home rings. <laughs> well, <laughs> <I've> yeah, <done. laughs> definitely. Figured I'd go with the green one today. <laughs> one, of the, one of the many reasons we love jewels. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just going to get my shamrock put on here. If you can see. And then again, I'm just going to wrap that around and take it up and over that check glass piece. Like so. And sometimes I like to just use my fingers. When I'm doing it, it just makes it a little easier. And just wrap that around a few times. And I'm one that I, I don't mind messy loops. I kind of like the organicness of it, mm. I guess. Um, but I'm gonna show you something here that's gonna give you an idea. So when you make your earrings, and I want I want those wires to be showing on the front because I like the way they look. And you can see on the bottom, 
the way that this is going to hang, okay, that's the front. On the bottom, that one's not really showing that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist my loop until I can get that piece to the front the way I wanted it and that our um, shamrock's in the front. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And once you wrap it, you can move it slightly, like with your fingernails if you need to, if you want it to be showing more or something like that. I mean, you're not going to be able to crazy move it because it's wrapped around your bead, but so. Uh, Trish, you had a question from, sure. um, I think it was uh, oh, she, Bonnie asked a while ago what the long nose tool is called. These are, yes, um, I see that Sharon answered her. This is uh, a tweezer plier, as Sharon said there. Um, they're from Zoran, and I don't know what I did without them prior to <laughs> having them. That's the for, one you just got me, right? Yep, yep. That's They're wonderful for wire work. And I figured Amber, sometimes her hands hurt. So I thought these might help her when she does work with wire, make it a little easier for her. So yeah, so that's a little infomercial for Zoran, I guess. <laughs> so I am now got my earrings all done there, guys. I'll put my hooks on after, but that gives you an idea. And I'm going to move on here if Amber's... Are you finished over there, Amber? I am. I was just entering in Sharon's email for her. Okay, sure. Take your time. Um, and then we'll get to look at your earrings when you're done there. Okay. But, <clears throat> yeah, guys, I mean, these are super cool. These charms. I'm going to just show you again. And the fire polish that comes with the kit. And it's going to vary, but there's some really gorgeous um, dark fire polish in the photo that's there, but I really like these two. These are the green and white. Mm -hmm. Really, really pretty. And you get some really pretty hemp that comes with it. And that's a bracelet kit. Well, basically any kind of kit, really. If you get your charms, you can make earrings, you can make a bracelet. There's plenty of beads to do whatever. And then these gorgeous seed beads, as you can see, I broke into mine big time. But this is transparent rainbow grass green. And you can see, guys, look, I don't know if you can see the AB on it, but come on. <laughs> That's, that is just, like, so gorgeous. AB anything. Yes. So here are my earrings, folks. Oh, so cute, Amber. <laughs> I love them. That rainbow is you, girl. <laughs> so, and Sharon, I added your email in there for the giveaway. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let me get my stuff moved out of the way here, guys. And I'm going to show you a quick little project with the sea beads and some fire polish here. This is the bracelet that I've come up with. And it's just three rows of sea beads and a row of seed bead, fire polish seed bead. And then I did actually uh, one of the pieces of check glass on my bracelet, but you could absolutely do, you know, one of your charms in the middle, on the side, anything like that. And Amber has one there that she's done. Yes. So mine's a little more simple. I just went with the check glass and then two seed beads across and, and then four in between each one. Okay. And I had done, I showed earlier the hat charm. Cute. Um, so, but I might do a different charm on this one. I'm not sure. Yeah. Hey, live it up, right? <laughs> I do. I love the check glass too, it's but so pretty. <laughs> anyway, but I am actually, I have mine on the original and you see that Amber has hers on the Wisdom Warrior. So you can use either one of those looms that will work just fine for this bracelet project. No, no problem. And I have my button on standby because I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm just going to show you guys, I'm going to raise my camera up a little bit, and I am going to show you quickly how to warp the original, just in case we have some new folks here. So it's as simple as putting the rod in the bottom, and you're going to have, this is, down here is where my belly is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as the camera's not really showing too well, but what I do is I take the bottom of this and just push it a little bit into my stomach, and you don't want to flex it too hard because it's flexible, it's not bendable, okay? Not real bendable, so you just flex it, okay? Flex it a little bit, pop your rod in there, okay? 
And sometimes so, it's helpful to rub the balloon, make sure it's warm. Did yes. you say that? No, I did not. And that's a wonderful tip just to make sure it's not real cold. If it's warm, just give it some body heat before you bend it. And that helps as well. I mean, they don't break easily, guys, but just remember that they're just flexible. Don't go crazy yanking on them because, you know, somebody might have done that before and I'm not going to mention any names. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to turn this over here and hook up my... Um, this is the 0.5 hemp I'm using for this one. Now, is it the 0.5 that we're getting in the kit? Julesy? Okay. I can't hear you, Jules. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing over there, Amber? I'm doing good. So while you're waiting, uh, it's very similar, but my knobs... I don't have a metal bar, but my knobs are on either end of the Wisdom Warrior. And just like Trish's, I'm going to just tie mine off on one of the ends. Okay. And other than the bar and the, the bending of it, everything else when you warp the Wisdom Warrior is similar. Yes. The, the grooves are similar. Um, tying it around a knob is similar. Um, so the big difference is the is the wood, obviously, and then the middle. And Jules says it's the 0.5 that's in the kit. Okay, thanks, Jules. And that's what I'm using here. So that worked out well. So all I did here, guys, on mine is just laid it into one of the grooves. Make it so you can see it. And then I'm going to go across. And I just eyeball it to make sure it's in, you know, close vicinity of the other one okay that's not like a, a deal breaker okay <laughs> and then i just flip it over and grab my knob with my hemp and this is going to be a simple one it's only two lines so what i do guys and i don't know what kind of techniques you use but when i'm going to be building a bracelet and sometimes it's trial and error for me i'm i'm not as professional i don't think as amber is she can kind of eyeball it and boom she knows how wide to make it you know <laughs> but Aww. i kind of uh just kind of gauge i put my bead in there and say okay well i want to put two um a c beads beside it and i know that a c bead an 80 takes one space you know so that's just a way to kind of eyeball it now this one i did i'm gonna look here guys because i have a short-term memory one two three four, five, sure one, three, four, five, six. So I did six wide for the, this one here that I made. So we'll do that with this one. So there's one, two, my eyes cross sometimes when I'm <laughs> counting. So you'll have to forgive me. One, two, three, four, five. While one, she's two. counting everybody and uh, pulling that up, we have so far, you guys are awesome, over 105 entries into Ooh, the giveaway. That's so, great. Uh, there was some extra bonus things. It's not 105 subscribes, but uh, it's a combination. If they liked it, they got an extra point. You know, like yeah, you know, absolutely. all their added bonuses too mm -hmm. so. that weren't required. The big requirement is make sure you click on Rafflecopter and subscribe to Jules's channel. Uh, that So that's the big way of being entered in the giveaway and that gets you five entries and then there was bonus ones uh if you like and comment and then uh that kind of stuff so okay. anyways so ma awesome. make sure uh the show's done in about 15 more minutes so you have about 10 minutes to enter so make sure you go to youtube and fill out the raffle copter and subscribe to Jules's YouTube channel to see what you win. <laughs> <laughs> so I just brought that across, guys, and then I tied it off on the back very simply. And I'm like, uh-oh, we have 15 minutes left. We better get moving here. <laughs> so I got some of my fire polish out here, and then I'm going to get some of my gorgeous uh, size 8 seed beads that come in the kit as well. And... Course, we're gonna need our needle and your wildfire and your wildfire 
while she's getting <laughs> that, my bracelet is only two spaces wide. So, okay. um, yeah. So while you watch me warp and her get her beat, you know, everything set up there. And with, I have found with the Wisdom Warrior is that uh, just push, push the hemp down into the grooves a little and it holds pretty well. And then I find if I hold it right here, I wrap around twice on here because you don't have the bar to help hold the tension. And then you just skip the two grooves there and you just make sure you hold that tension you can push it into your belly. You can lay it sideways. Come up here and just push it down into there. That first one's a little loose. I'm going to go back because it's loose and tighten it back up. That's always the one that gets loose is that first one. <laughs> Wrap Definitely. it around twice to help hold the tension and then uh, skip two grooves. So, but otherwise our projects are very similar in what we yes, use. Yes, they certainly are. And I wrap around twice before I cut and, tri and tie. So, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, you're good. You're good. Um, I was just going to say that does speak to the versatility of the um, kit. You know, yes. you can make, you know, different sizes, different widths. There's a lot to work with. So what I did, guys, I just tied a loose not on the left side. I work bottom to top, as we've discussed in the past. I'm a weirdo. Uh, but, but, and then I just threaded my needle. I squeezed the end with the pliers to flatten the wildfire down a little bit and put it through. So basically what I did is I started with two, ro two rows of seed beads at the start. Because why not, right? And it's only, it's four wide. So, like I said, it's fairly simple. You just pick up four seed beads. And we're just going to do, like, one run of this. And then um, we'll head over to taking them off the loom. So I've got my four on there. And I always drop mine down to the bottom. Take my needle from left to right under the warps. And I'm just going to pull that underneath like so Do it a little bit for you and then take my needle across the top we're coming like out and around guys and then we're going to go through the beads again but on the top and you want to make sure you're going through all your beads and you can see if you're not if your needles if you're not seeing metal between the beads you know the needle is not there so simple simple you know way to tell so we're going to pull that and we're going to do four more. All right. Same thing. I like to drop them down. I did just take my hand and slide them down. It's just the rhythm that I found when I when I loom. And then I just run the cord, the wildfire underneath again. Push it up with my finger and up and over and over the top and through the beads. Okay. Very pretty. Thank you. And then we're just going to do the next thing is just to add your check glass in. So I'm just going seed bead, your fire polish, and then another seed bead. Okay. And pull that under. Like so. And do the same thing. Go over the top. And you know what I didn't do? Here what? I am. This is nice and taut already, but I left the bar in. Oops. But yeah, but you it's you know, it's taut, but if you remove your bar, you're gonna get it <laughs> much, much tauter. So I'm just gonna take that out now if I can get it. Nope, it's gonna make a fool of me on, on live. So we won't do that right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, no, we're not. I don't want to talk to you right now. So. <laughs> You forgot all about us. Oh. So either way, I mean, you can see how taut that is just even without removing the bar. Once you learn to warp and and it, you just kind of get the hang of just already getting things nice and tight. And that stands, if you look at the Wisdom Warrior, you don't have the bar. And, you know, Amber's able to get it nice and taut 
even without the bar. So just kind of gives you an idea. Like I almost did it on purpose, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I'm just going to do three more sets of the four C beads wide. And that is a run. That's basically, and you just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. And once you get it to the length you want, you stop with your fire polish and add two on the end. And that's as simple as it is, guys. How about you, Amber? Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing there? Sure. So uh, so I've got it warped, and I've got my needle and my wildfire. So needle, wildfire, uh, <laughs> all of it can be, except for the tools, you can get everything from Jewel Loom. Um, yeah, so it's really cool all that Jules provides in her uh, shop there. So yes, it is. She has some beauties and some really nice stuff. Yeah. So I started my pattern with uh, two seed beads across, which is about as, which is as wide as the fire polish is. So since we only have two warps, there's not a lot to worry about making sure it all fits in between which makes it a little easier. So um, the same thing, I uh, start going under and then come through over the top and look for that needle, just like Trish said, to make sure, because otherwise you could drop a bead. So this, this pattern, it's uh, two seed beads, two seed beads, uh, the fire polish, and then repeat and then end at the size that you need with the four seed beads. So I'll do a run as well. So I'm going to pick up and the board that I'm using, you can get when you purchase. Now remind me, I know the large wisdom warrior, you can get the, the bead board. Uh, does it come with the small one too? No. no, no. It does okay. Not. It's just the large wisdom warrior, but you can buy the bead board separate. You can buy it yes. individually. So I love this bead board. So I highly recommend it. It's so pretty. It goes so nicely. It is. Everything. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, um, my, I keep mine downstairs. That's where I do a lot of my looming. So it didn't make an appearance tonight, but I do <laughs> enjoy okay. it. That's for sure. So I've got my four seed beads here. Yeah, of course, starting out, I have a lot of wildfire. There's other types of beading thread that you can use. Uh, this is just my favorite. Um, and this is the one that Jules sells in her shop. But it's not yeah. why it's my favorite. <laughs> it was my favorite before I met Jules. <laughs> and it comes in such beautiful colors, though. Oh, you know, a lot of the others, they don't have the beautiful colors oh. that... I, I love the pink and the blue they've come out with. Yeah, I'm using green tonight. I don't know what color. Did yep, you that's choose? what I chose to. Yeah, really get so, in the spirit, you know. <laughs> and the green, I know it's harder to see in the demo, but it it really blends in with a lot of things. It does, yeah. Not green. just the green. I mean, a lot of people will say how it just kind of goes into the background of mo yeah. a lot of the hemp colors and stuff. The gr the green does. But this is what I have so far, guys. And that's it. That's that bas the basic pattern. Very simple. Yep. And then I just repeat it now. I'll do two seed beads. So two groups of seed beads and the fire polish all the way down until I get to the length that I want for my wrist or someone else's wrist. So always go under first. And then pull it up in between the warps and then through the top awesome. and etc etc do you know those bracelets you're making would look so pretty stacked like two, uh, yeah. like two or three variations and stack oh. them. that would be so gorgeous yes love it, love it. okay so if you're you're finished up for now, Amber, yep. I'm going to show you. how to just take it off the loom very simply and add your button. I do want to mention too, guys, I just used some seed beads and I stitched behind that. So it kind of put oh. the, the flower uh, toward the front. So there's one seed bead on top of it. And then I kind of almost did a circle 
you know, that's with an awesome it, idea. And it pulls up the back, and then you have your little charm there. Okay, so simply to remove, I need my cord cutters. So um, all I did is I added a jump ring in on mine. Perfect. Uh, yep, you can just do as simple as that too. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. It looks great. It has nice movement to it, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to flip my original over and I'm going to keep my finger on the warps. So when I cut it, it doesn't all, you know, fling everywhere. But since <laughs> I did <laughs> this one, I took the bar out of. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to trim those. And you see how I'm holding that? So it's not going to, you know, fling across the room on right. you or anything, which it normally wouldn't, but. <laughs> you, you don't want to run that chance. I can do anything. I've <laughs> learned that. So no one else will end up flinging across the room, but I will. <laughs> so I'm just cutting both ends here and I'm just going to make a knot. Since this is only two warps, it's really easy to finish. You just make your knot at the end and get that through there okay guys and i'm just putting that down toward my beads not too tight because it'll warp your beads up but just enough that you can keep the shape because if you jam this knot down too tight it will the end of your beads will get all odd looking because it's <laughs> squishing them in there i i use good words don't i i <laughs> I'm so talented. Oh, here's my original. So um, I will do the same thing, but mine's slightly different. I'll just put my thumb here while I cut off the ends. <clears throat> and I'm just making a knot on the opposite end as well, the same way. This stuff, this green is just popping, isn't it? It is. I can't wait to put my bracelet on. <laughs> And then I'm just going to simply, guys, on one end, I'm going to put my button on that we decorated so nicely. I'm just going to run strings up both, one through one hole, one through the other. All right. And I'm going to leave myself a little bit of breathing room there just to kind of, so it's not tight, tight down on the knot, and it'll function better for you if you give yourself <laughs> a little bit of breathing room. I think that stands for a lot of things in life. <laughs> so put my knot down. I'm going to tie my first one down there and see if I still have some room in the back. And if I don't, I just kind of give it a little tug and then tie my second knot. These are super easy to finish when you just have the two um, uh, warps. So yeah. I'm just going to trim that off. And then I'm going to make my loop on the other side. And I'm just going to do that by making a knot. And I'm just going to start it here. I'm not going to pull it too tight. I want to see, make sure that my button's going to fit through the buttonhole that I made. Okay. <laughs> that's always a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a pretty large button. So as I'm seeing that, you can see I left that loose. And I'm just going to kind of work it until I see that I can get the button through easily, but snug, and then I can tighten down that knot. So that way, then you'll be sure it's going to stay on your wrist well, okay? And that's it, guys. I just trimmed the strings a little bit, and you've got an adorbs bracelet. Very cute. <laughs> Very cute. So I'm just taking mine. I t One of my ends, one thing with uh, the Wisdom Warrior and I didn't do this, is to make sure you leave enough on your ends because um, it doesn't go behind like the original. So, so this is a little short, but I always, if I have a shorter end, I always pick that end to put my button on anyways. Um, and then, so I tie it a knot, just like Trish said, make sure you don't tie it too tight so it messes with your warps and your weft, making it look funny. And then tying a knot on the top of the button. So just like Trish, so mine's a two layer versus, and then same thing, got to tie a knot on this end and then make a buttonhole. So. Perfect. Yeah. That's so adorable. I love it. I didn't add my charm yet, but 
it'll look like just the one I'm wearing already. So yes, so cute. So yeah, so your buttonhole is a little big, but this button's adorable. So it's well worth <laughs> it's it. Well worth it. So, <laughs> but I will finish this up and take pictures for you guys. But I'm yes. gonna pull up the the Absolutely. giveaway here. All right, and I'm gonna switch my camera here, so I will. And we're gonna add Jules and uh, Joan back into yes. doing that. Now I'm switching my camera. There we go. There's Joan. There's Jules. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah. She'll be back in a moment. I'll be back in a moment, guys. <laughs> you didn't uh, lose uh, me. Jules and Joan, you are muted. We can unmute you here. Or you guys have to unmute yourselves. <laughs> so we can't unmute. I can't hear you. Now there can we you hear me? Yes, now we can hear you. Is that better? Yes, yeah. much. Uh-oh, uh -oh, somebody's getting a call. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry oh, about hi. that. I mean, I turned down the volume. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Your pieces are amazing. Oh my god. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. I I love how you show the versatility of what it starts, and then what else you can do with it because that that's what it's all about. I love when you take. You know, take the helm, right? And yeah, absolutely. And show different ways to do things. I just, I absolutely love it. Well, good. That's what we're hoping for. We yeah, make those you, earrings you... are super sexy with that whole wire wrapping thing. Um, oh, that was a you. gold. What was the gauge? Twenty. Twenty gauge. Twenty gauge. Oh, what? Twenty gauge. Yeah. Oh my. That's God. a go-to. That's my go-to. Twenty gauge wire. But that is. Um, this is the beetle on German, German. Oh, it's the German. Okay. Yeah. It's a little, German's a little harder yeah, than the, than the, the artistic. But, but yeah, it, it looks like it flows better. It does. Yeah. I always recommend for that wire wrapping and stuff, 20 gauge. Now for probably a newbie, this might be a little bit too hard for your fingers, but okay. I do like, I, I've wire wrapped with like 14 before, so. 20s <laughs> like nothing. so yeah but 20 gauge or 22 gauge if you feel like the 20 is a little bit too hard get you some 22 gauge and it'll be perfect yeah sweet that's a gorgeous gorgeous design love it you so much i love it all i mean i just <laughs> simple little single bracelets like that you know just shows people how you can do something very yep. quick and easy but get that really big punch out of it and the whole Oops. layering um i did want to show you know, those charms that have like the little beds where they're engraved. Oh, yeah. So I filled mine with resin and then dropped beads. Oh, Ooh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So this was our um, project we just got done with for um, February, almost oh. October, one month of mine. <laughs> yeah. But um, so, yeah, so I put some oh. resin in there and then uh and then just sprinkled beads so I okay i'm still really on that funny. idea ps by the way yeah uh, i totally <laughs> I, I totally have to do that too <laughs> all right so oh oh i gotta make you big again what in the world huge. is that <laughs> oh my gosh what's this that is huge it's a ring. <gasps> oh, that's a jewel oh, ring if i ever saw one. i just want to maintain my my crown for having the biggest ring. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. You do, girl. <laughs> well, we you have do. a winner. <gasps> Jules, do you want to tell our what they're good? Do you want me to tell the winner first or do you want to tell them what they won first? I'm I'm hoping I'm gonna remember. I know <laughs> it's a baby I know we just talked about it this afternoon. It's a yes. baby lamb. Gonna get a mm -hmm. baby lamb. Yeah. Some of the incredibly hugely popular must have jewel bloom needles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And a charm set. And a charm, and a set. charm set. <laughs> <laughs> Between four of us, we can remember things. That's how we all work well together. <laughs> right. Uh, what are we gonna do? Um, yeah, and the and the Irish charm set. Yep. Very Sharon, fun. Sharon's asking, what? That is a ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. You know what it is? Um, back in the day when I was a physics um, Ellison. Oh, person, 
Yeah. So yeah. I cut this out of this really groovy material that had come onto the market. It was like, like a paste. And um, I think I did this one when I taught in Puerto Rico, by the way. Oh, yeah. Wow. Love Puerto Very Rico. Fun. Um, yeah. And so I cut out the dye. It's a flower, as you can tell. And then these yes. are the Czech glass uh, flatbacks. Cabs. They're beautiful. Oh, and this is back. actually an antique piece. Wow. So, I love it. Yeah. Wow. So I just beautiful. put it all together and it's on a, on a ring back. Like it's the, of all the things, oh, kind of a yeah. cheap ring back. But it doesn't yeah. matter. So yeah, no, it's gorgeous. It's fun. That'd be a gorgeous pendant too. Or a pin yes. or on your hat. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So much. Yeah. Hat. I love that. Yeah, well, oh, I think cool. you should wear it like that. I like it. <laughs> Definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, we're not going to your hair. I need Definitely. a drum roll, please. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and tonight's winner, she was here earlier in the show. Um, I hopefully she's still here. So, Rhonda Johnson, are you still with us? Yay, Rhonda! Yay, congratulations. Yay! I know. I she's been around. So, yeah, Rhonda's our winner. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So, make sure you get. Uh, in touch with Jules, and she yeah. will send you your prize. And we can so. post the winner in the group just in case she yes. doesn't pop back into the live. Yes. Or we will certainly put that up and or reach we'll out to her one or the other. So, yeah. and Joan, <laughs> if you can is. post that, is she here? Oh, she's oh, there! Yay! Woo woo! <laughs> Congratulations, Rhonda! <laughs> she is. Go, Jules. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for providing that for everyone. Jules, what a great prize. You're so welcome. Yeah. Thank you all for showing up. I'm just so appreciative. We're all, um, I just think that Trisha and Amber are doing a killer job. And Joan, you are like, oh you're like the captain F. She <laughs> is. She is like at the helm, make, doing all these things, all these things. Whoa, Behind whoa, the whoa. scenes. And, <laughs> She oh makes gosh, us gosh, look good. Like, yeah, she makes us look good, basically. Yeah, yeah. She, is, she is definitely that person. But um, I yes, love, so I love how you use the original jewel loom and the small wisdom warrior, and and show the, you know, just the, the, they're basically, you know, the same but not. Right. <laughs> uh, you know. So if you're starting off, it's great to start with the, the original loom or the baby loom, even just to kind of get a feel for warping, but growing into the small mm -hmm. wisdom warrior. I mean, she is just beautiful. Yeah. She's, she's beautiful. a beauty. Oh, yeah. I like her too. I like them all. She's my yeah. baby. <laughs> no, but it's good because you each have like your own, you know, your own loom romance. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I love her loom so rant. much. I, I, I created couldn't... a new word. <laughs> Loomer loom romance. Loom rants. I I'll have to tell my husband it's oh, over. I'm in love with my loom. <laughs> I'm leaving you. We're getting married tomorrow. <laughs> and move it to the ranch. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell them about the bunny ranch. <laughs> yeah, don't come here, guys, if you don't want crazy, because there's going to be crazy on this show. <laughs> yeah. We need a little cheer. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, is there anything else? No, I think I showed everything that I wanted yeah. to show. Yeah, if you but, didn't get to see it, go back and watch the replay, guys. Yeah. Jules showed some beautiful beads. <laughs> Thanks, yes, Janice. Yes. I love my headband, too. And what is, uh, oh, so next week, it's me and Neely, right, over on Silver Silver Silk. Silver Silk. Yeah, Silk. I've got a Silver Silk Facebook page. And then does that get streamed into Wednesday. the YouTube? It'll be feeding directly to YouTube also at the same time on the Silver Silk. <laughs> so you'll Silk go and share more. it everywhere? So if you find one of the events, I put the link in the in the events too. If you open it up, oh, yeah, for it's going to be okay. a fun night. Jules will be on at six Eastern, and then whenever we'll her on. and Neely are done, we're going to come on around seven Eastern, and it's going to oh, be we're a on at three. Yeah, three your time. Three year time. Three thirty down. <laughs> oh no! I could have said you're late. I'm already late. I'm already late. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sparkle on to you too, Rose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we brained then, your night, Rhonda. Yeah. And we'll be yeah. doing Trisha's bracelet next week that everybody has been dying to learn. So the Tila yeah. bracelet. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so fun. So easy, but it makes a nice statement. 
And Jules yeah, has something right. special for her and Neely too. <laughs> the cat's out of the bag. Go look at the yeah. announcement. <laughs> yeah. I just texted him. I'm like, when can we chat? <laughs> P.S. By the way, <laughs> where, where, where are you, Neely? Maybe that's why he made plans all day. <laughs> he's hiding from you, Jules. Oh, he's not available. Yeah. He's hiding from Mama Jules as he comes. <laughs> oh, maybe Daddy is hiding from me. <laughs> oh, he has to hide from. <laughs> well, Fred, you're gonna have two hours of craziness next week. So. <laughs> yes, I can't wait. No. Oh, and it's let me just fun. say too, um, March's online workshop, as far as getting a cat um, and everything, is sold oh, out. Yeah. Oh, it's um, awesome. If you are interested, because it's starting to get to the point where there's a waiting list now. So if you're interested in getting in, if you're already a subscriber, don't get all crazy. Oh, my God. Don't, you know, <laughs> like you're in if you're a monthly subscriber. Um, but if you're not, then you need to definitely get on that waiting list because class is filling up quick. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So grateful for that. We have so much fun. March's oh project goodness. is just like fabulous. I can't wait to show it off. I know. I can't wait I to can't see. Wait to <laughs> yeah, it's gonna really, it's really gonna be fun. So awesome. Anyway. Awesome. Well, okay. anything else, Jules? I don't know. I could tell you five thousand other things. <laughs> 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 what category shall we start with? Which yeah, category? right. The brand. Do you want to talk bees or you want to talk romance? I don't know. <laughs> oh, romance. No, romance. I have none. Oh, <laughs> I have none. none. Uh, no. I'm going on 19 months, possibly 20. I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. good. Yeah, I'm that's good. okay. You need that time. <laughs> I need that time. And yes, yep. it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. I don't think we have anything else. You, Trish? Nope. Uh, I think all right. we're good. All right. Well, y'all have it's a nice fine, night. I know it's a lot of East Coasters here. It's still California and sunlight <laughs> there. Yeah. So. Stark outside and in yeah. PA. And okay. cold. Thank All you right. so very Thanks, much. guys. Bye. We'll see you, see you next week. week. And this too.